Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Would you go on a bug safari with Pete the Cat to look for cool bugs? Well, Pete and his friends hope you come too because they are out looking. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if they find something really amazing. Let's go. Pete the Cat and the Cool Caterpillar by James Dean. Pete is on a bug safari. He and his friends are looking for bugs. How many bugs can they find? Callie spots a tiny black ant. It's building an anthill, she says. Groovy, says Pete. Gus finds a round red ladybug in the mint patch. It has nine spots, says Gus. Nice, says Pete. Marty sees a big black spider. It caught a fly, he says. Neat, says Pete. Pete finds a green caterpillar in the flower pot. I will bring it home to show mom and dad, he says. Mom helps Pete build a home for the caterpillar. They use a big jar. Dad puts lots of little holes in the lid for air. Pete puts the caterpillar in the jar. Pete puts some leaves in the jar for the caterpillar to eat. He adds a twig for it to crawl on. Good night, Pete, says Mom. Good night, Pete, says Dad. Good night, Caterpillar, says Pete. When Pete wakes up, the Caterpillar is gone. Where did it go? Did it run away? It is not gone, says Mom. It did not run away says dad. Look, they say. The caterpillar is inside there, says mom. It's called a pupa. Will it stay in there forever? Pete asks. No, says dad. The caterpillar is changing into something new. What will it become? Pete asks. It's a surprise, says Mom. We must wait and see. Pete waits. Callie comes to visit. Did it come out yet? She asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits some more. Gus comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits even longer. Marty comes to visit. Did it come out yet? He asks. Not yet, says Pete. Pete waits and waits and waits. Then, one day, something finally happens. The pupa starts to wiggle. Something is happening, says Pete. It wiggles some more. Everyone comes over to watch. The pupa cracks open. Something is coming out. 
What can it be? A head pokes out, then some legs, and then two colorful wings. The caterpillar changed into a beautiful butterfly. Wow, says Pete. The butterfly slowly moves its wings up and down. It is ready to fly. They take the jar to the park. Time to say goodbye, says Dad. Pete opens the lid of the jar. The butterfly flaps its wings. It flutters out of the jar and lands on Pete's nose. That tickles, he says. <laughs> Then, the butterfly flies up into the sky. Bye-bye, butterfly, everyone says. Let's find a new caterpillar, says Pete. Change is pretty cool. Bears wondering, do you think a caterpillar would make a cool pet? Well, would he stay a caterpillar? Hmm, what was Pete's caterpillar doing when he was hanging inside the pupa? Yes, he was changing. When he poked out, what did he have that was new? Right, wings. Instead of crawling, how do you think he can move around now? Yes, he can fly. So, do you think Pete's right? Can change be pretty cool? Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in changing. Bye for now. Please subscribe.